So the film starts, and we are shown a couple. Simon had shifted to a new city with his wife so that he could start a new life with her. They both go to the mall to shop for new decorations for their house. That's when Simon meets his friend in the shopping mall, who used to study with Simon in school. Both have good hellos. When Simon was giving money to the shopkeeper there, he also gave the address of his house. To whom his friend, whose name is Gordo, had heard. Desperately, Simon meets Gordo nicely. But he was not such a good friend that he made a plan to meet again. And both go their own way. After this, Gordo started coming to Simon's house without telling him. He starts sending gifts to him. For the first time, he sends an expensive bottle of wine to his house. Seeing this, Simon's wife was surprised. She thinks, how does Simon's friend know the address of our house, although we did not tell him anything? But she did not know that Gordo had heard the address of his house from Simon. One day, Gordo himself comes to his house, but he had brought a list of maids, servants, and helpers. He gives it to Simon's wife. They were new in this city, so they needed them. Simon's wife had called Gordo inside the house. And on this pretext, he now starts looking at all their houses. Also, it was evening, so Simon's wife stopped Gordo at her house for dinner. She felt that maybe he was a very good friend of Simon. While eating food, Simon talks to him and tells Gordo that I work for a company that gets secret information from people. So after eating food, Gordo also calls Simon and his wife to his house for dinner, and then he left from there. After he left, Simon talked to his wife, because he does not like to come to his house without telling Gordo. After that, Gordo sent another gift to him, which was fish, which Simon's wife leaves in her small pond. And she tells her husband Simon that we should thank your friend. Simon says, thank you for what? That he goes to our house without telling us? Thank you for this. After which, Simon writes a video from Gordo on a piece of paper in his house, by the name of which Simon used to call Gordo often in school. Simon tells his wife that tonight, when we go to his house for dinner, we will tell him clearly that we do not like you coming like this. In the evening, when the two went to Gordo's house, they were very impressed to see his grand house. When they were all sitting together and talking, Suddenly Gordo got a call from someone whom he had gone to listen to outside. This seems a little strange to Simon and his wife. They both think, how can someone leave such strangers alone in their house and go out? And they take advantage of this and start looking at his house. After seeing the whole house, they find out that Gordo is married and has a child. Simon was thinking here, surely he must be hiding something from us. Simon tells his wife, did he start liking you? Who comes to my house in my absence? Simon's wife says you are thinking too much. There is nothing like that. They both started laughing while talking to each other. Meanwhile, Gordo had also returned. When he comes back, Simon tries to reveal the truth to him. After all, who do you live with here? Gordo starts telling Simon about himself. Says that this house belongs to my wife who has taken my child and gone somewhere else. After hearing these things, Simon now tells him clearly, look, stay away from our lives and pay attention to your lives, try to solve them. This made Gordo angry. The next morning, Simon's wife goes to her pond and sees that all the fish are dead, to whom Gordo had given a gift. And his dog was also missing. Simon was suspicious of Gordo after seeing all this. And that's why he goes to his house to find out about it. He finds out the truth. The house in which Gordo had called him last night was actually his boss's house. And Gordo is his driver. Gordo used to come to his house from the back door because of the jobs. In addition, Simon also finds out that Gordo is not married and does not have a child. That is, he had lied to him about all these things. When Gordo's boss also found out about all this, he fired him from his job. Simon now writes a report to the police against him. But due to the lack of solid evidence, Gordo could not be arrested by the police. So a few days passed like this. Gordo did not know where he was. 
Then one day Simon's wife felt someone walking into her house. She felt as if someone was in her house. She started thinking a lot about this in her mind and started taking sleeping pills. After which it is shown that her dog had also returned, which had disappeared. And Simon's wife also gets a letter from Gordo, in which she has written a line, Let bygones be bygones, which meant, what has passed is past, what is past, let it go. She had written that even after so many years, she was ready to forget everything. And she had no wrong intentions behind all this. These people forgive her. Simon's wife reads the letter and starts thinking about what Gordo is talking about. What happened to him that he wants to forget? He does not understand anything. She also talks to Simon about this, but he does not tell her anything. After this, Simon's wife was very worried. The same strange dreams start coming. She keeps thinking all the time. What did Gordo want to say after all? One day, thinking like this, she gets very worried and becomes unconscious. That's why Simon gets some medicines from her to which he says, Stop it. Don't take these medicines. They keep you worried. And we have to leave all these things behind to live a good life. Hearing all this, his wife also agrees. Simon's job was going very well. His client was very happy with him. When he talks about his promotion to his boss, he says that there is a man in the middle of your promotion. He says his name is Danny. Time goes by like this. After a few days, Simon's wife finds out that she is going to be a mother. She was very happy. One day, when she went shopping in the market, she saw Gordo. Before that, she goes to him and asks something. He leaves after seeing Simon's wife. When Simon's wife had a baby shower, Simon's wife started talking to his sister about the life of Simon's school. Simon's sister says that Simon had spread wrong things about Gordo with his friend. Because of this, everyone in the school started calling him by the wrong name. And that was the reason he had to leave school. Hearing this, Simon's wife finds out about her husband's friend. Soon she found out about Simon's friend. When she meets him and asks about Gordo, he says that Simon was a bully in school. That is, he used to trouble everyone. One day he spread the news about Gordo in a joke that he is not a good boy and does wrong things. Because of which he was also expelled from school. And when Gordo's dad found out that his son was doing the wrong things, he tried to burn him and kill him. Because of which he went to jail. In this way, Simon is the only one responsible for ruining Gordo's life. Now to find out about all this, Simon's wife looks for her husband's office. Where she finds out that Simon had all the information about Gordo. Also she finds a file on Danny there, which she does not pay attention to. Now, after finding out all this, Simon's wife goes to him and says, I have known about you Simon, you are such a disgusting person, I had not even thought. And now, if you want to keep our relationship, you will have to go to Gordo and apologize for everything. Simon agrees with his wife's words and now goes to apologize to Gordo. But he was going to him and apologizing in such a way that he was doing him a favor. Here Gordo tells Simon that the past is never forgotten, my friend. After hearing this, Simon got angry and started hitting Gordo. Says, stay away from my family. Did you understand? Now Simon comes back and tells a lie to his wife. Says that Gordo forgave him. Simon also got a promotion. In the joy that he seeps a small party in his house and calls some of his friends. That's why Danny came to the party. Who hits a stone on his window and says that Simon has lied to the company against him. Because of which he was fired from the job. He himself got a promotion. Danny was talking about the same lies that Simon's wife found in Danny's file during the search, in which Simon had written wrong things against him. After hearing these things, Simon's wife was now convinced that her husband could do anything to succeed. But before this, Simon's wife says something to him, he starts feeling sick, he is taken to the hospital where he had a son. That's when Simon gets a call from his office saying that Danny has been fired from the job for the wrong reasons. And now Simon's wife had also left him. 
Because of these two things being together, Simon's heart breaks, and he came home while driving and thinking, where he gets a gift outside his house. When he opened it, there were three more gifts in it. First, there is a key. When he checked it, it was the key to his house. It means that Gordo could come to his house whenever he wanted. In the second gift, there is a DVD with the same recording. When Simon came to his house and made a joke of him, it means that Gordo's eyes were always on Simon and his wife. And in the third gift, there was a video in which Simon lost his mind. He sees that Gordo is in his house. That is, the person who was Simon's wife felt that there was someone in his house. Indeed, this was true. It was also shown in that video that when Simon's wife fainted, Gordo came to him, and at that time, he was wearing a monkey mask. He did this because Simon had a phobia of monkeys, he was afraid, and he mixed the medicine for fainting in his wife's water, which made her unconscious. And then, Gordo started doing the wrong things with him. Now, after seeing all this, Simon's mind starts to think strangely. He thinks that the child who is born is probably his. Then, on the other side, Gordo comes to Simon's wife, who says that Simon beat him a lot. Hearing this, Simon's wife was even more angry. Then Simon also comes here, who is watching Gordo from a distance. Before he could catch him, he ran away from here, after which Simon got a call. Gordo says that when you were wrong with me in school, you could have stopped it. But you didn't do that. Now you think, what did I do with your wife? And you will spend your whole life thinking about what happened that day. Actually, all these things Gordo had lied to Simon, saying he had done wrong with his wife. He deliberately recorded half of the video, just like Simon lied and ruined his life, Gordo had also taken his revenge on him. And while thinking this, Simon will spend his whole life. Now neither Simon had a job nor a peaceful life. When Gordo's revenge was fulfilled, the story of this movie also ended here. Thanks.